Guns are deeply ingrained in American society and the nation's political debates. The Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution gives Americans the right to bear arms, and about a third of U.S. adults say they personally own a gun. Here are some key findings about Americans' attitudes about guns, gun policy, and other subjects drawn from recent surveys by Pew Research Center and Gallup. Nearly 70% of Americans are pro-guns. Around 30% of U.S. citizens admit to owning a gun, while another 36% claim to consider getting a gun in the future. Most of them are into handguns and less into shotguns and rifles. Nearly all of them want guns for personal protection. America has more guns than people. There are more guns than people in America, with 120.5 firearms per 100 U.S. citizens, according to Vox, making the country more prone to gun violence. As the leading country in gun ownership, the U.S. owns almost half of all firearms globally, at around 45%. The Second Amendment is at odds with modern politics. The constitutional definition regarding the right to bear arms is questionable in an age of mass shootings, dividing many Americans whose opinions on gun ownership differ. The Atlantic reports that while the contextual reading is quite enlightening, in the amendment, its initial and sole purpose was to permit U.S. states to create armed militias legally. Americans purchased more firearms in 2020 and 2021 than at any point in the nation's history. During the spring of 2020, when COVID-19 broke out in the U.S., firearms sales soared, then rose even higher during a summer of racial and social unrest. Many citizens purchased their first guns during this time. According to research consultancy firm Small Arms Analytics and Forecasting, 22.8 million guns were purchased in 2020, and in 2021, Americans bought nearly 20 million more. The National Rifle Association formed in 1871. Founded by two Union veterans, the National Rifle Association, NRA, was formed in 1871 in order to improve troop marksmanship and promote and encourage rifle shooting on a scientific basis. The NRA reported that more than 125,000 certified instructors train 1 million firearm owners each year on how to properly shoot a rifle. 3 out of 10 Americans own a gun. 3 out of every 10 Americans admit to owning a gun, and 11% of those who do not say that someone else in their household does, according to a 2021 Pew Research survey. The study also showed that 66% of gun owners own more than one firearm. Firearm exposure begins in adolescence for almost half of Americans, with up to 48% saying they grew up with a gun in the house. Gallup also conducted a poll that same year. It found the numbers were actually a bit higher, with 42% of respondents indicating they were gun owners. Concealed and open carry Self-identifying definitions, concealed or open, are the two ways an owner can legally carry firearms. But this was not always the case. In the last three decades, profound policy changes on the public display of weapons made openly carrying a gun easier. More than 30 states allow open carry without the requirement of a license, while a further 10 require a license. Only four states, California, Illinois, Florida, New York, and Washington, D.C., fully prohibit the open carry of a gun in public. Record Climb in Background Checks During the COVID-19 Pandemic The steep climb in personal history reports required for gun ownership performed by the Federal Bureau of Investigation's National Instant Criminal Background Check System has continued to rise since reaching a historic peak in 2019 of more than 28 million. Despite lockdowns, social distancing, and the closure of businesses and other facilities that might have mitigated the public's hunger for weaponry, the pandemic conversely seemed to fuel American desire for more and more guns. In 2020, 39,695,315 checks were performed, and the following year, just 818,000 fewer. What is the gun show loophole? According to the ATF, anyone can sell a gun without a federal firearms license from their home, online, at a flea market, or at a gun show, as long as he or she is not conducting the sale as part of regular business activity. One example would be someone who sells a firearm from his personal collection. 
Others who are exempt include those giving guns as gifts. Only individuals whose principal motive is to make profit via sale must obtain a federal firearms license. Commonly referred to as the gun show loophole, this ambiguity also explains how a purchase can occur without a background check and without breaking the law. A 2017 survey by Harvard and Northeastern universities estimates that roughly one in five transactions occur without a background check. A gun may also be purchased on behalf of a third party, as long as it's a gift and as long as the recipient does not violate federal restrictions on gun ownership to the best of the gift giver's knowledge. The same applies to the general transfer of guns. Children younger than 18 may possess guns that were given to them by parents or guardians as gifts, provided they have written permission. Turns out that Americans want firearms that are reliable and effective, and it doesn't seem to hurt if the handgun they carry has a little bit of style as well. Here's our list of the greatest handgun designs currently available today. Walther, PPK. Carl Walther developed the PPK, or Police Pistol Detective model, for release in 1930, and that gun has paved the way for a number of other pistol designs that followed. The PPK was small and trim, light enough to be carried concealed by detectives working undercover. It became a standard bearer for semi-auto carry guns for decades to follow. It was also the first commercially successful double-action, single-action pistol on the market, a mechanical design that has been used by a multitude of service and self-defense weapons since. Light and compact, the PPK utilizes a fixed barrel blowback action. Because the barrel remains fixed, the PPK is surprisingly accurate for such an easy-to-carry gun. The PPK was the inspiration for several other guns, like the Russian Makarov and everyone's favorite fictional MI6 agent, James Bond, carried one as a sidearm. Ninety years after its inception, the PPK remains a popular carry gun, and they're now made in Walther's Fort Smith, Arkansas facility. Colt 1911 No surprise here. John Moses Browning designed a lot of groundbreaking guns, but none have stood up as well as the Colt 1911 Single Action Semi-Auto. This pistol has served as the American sidearm in two world wars and in countless other conflicts, and it remains a favorite design of competition shooters and some law enforcement and military units, which is impressive for a pistol celebrating its 110th birthday next year. Countless companies offer their own 1911 pistols, including Springfield, Sig Sauer, Kimber, Rock Island, and more. And premium builders like Ed Brown, Nighthawk, and Bill Wilson churn out high-end 1911s that are worth every penny. Smith & Wesson, Model 29 We often associate the 44 Magnum Model 29 Smith & Wesson with Dirty Harry Callahan. But the real driving force behind this gun was Elmer Keith. In the 1950s, Keith, a gun writer and big bore enthusiast, was uploading the 44 Special to high pressures, and he wanted a gun that would handle that kind of energy. He got his wish when Smith & Wesson produced their N-frame revolver in 1955 in the powerful new 44 Remington Magnum. The 29 rose in popularity after Clint Eastwood uttered those famous lines about it being the most powerful handgun in the world in 1971. But the Model 29's enduring legacy is that it made big bore Magnum revolvers available to the public. The M29 and its various N frame variants remain in Smith & Wesson's lineup and will for the foreseeable future. CZ 75 the CZ-75 was released in 1975, and credit for the gun's design goes to brothers Joseph and Frontisek Kauki. Because of export restrictions in what was then Czechoslovakia, CZ-75 clone pistols were built in other countries, and that allowed the guns to be shipped around the world. The Kauki-designed pistol utilizes a short recoil, lock breech design, similar to the venerable Browning High Power, which fails to make the list only because major production was discontinued. 
and a slide that rides along internal rails. With their double-stack, 15-round magazines, the CZ-75 helped usher in the era of the Wonder 9, and the design has been copied by a host of other manufacturers, including Tanfoglio, IMI, Norinco, Springfield, and others. The CZ-75 remains the company's flagship, and thankfully, these guns are now widely available in the U.S. CZ USA currently offers 15 different CZ-75 variants for duty, competition and recreational shooting, and self-defense. Glock 17 Austrian curtain rod manufacturer Gaston Glock used his experience with polymers to create a completely new pistol design in 1982, the G-17. Since then, Glock's semi-auto striker-fired handgun has enjoyed a tidal wave of popularity and has created a whole new polymer frame striker-fired pistol market. No longer regarded as plastic guns, Glock pistols are the sidearm of choice for most American law enforcement agencies. Over the years, the Glock family has grown to include a range of different single and double-stack models in a variety of calibers. But the original design concept remains largely unchanged. The use of polymers made these guns lighter and less expensive to manufacture than steel frame guns. And Glock pistols are robust and accurate.